guys, welcome back to another video of uh, My Car Doesn't Run. And uh, so last night we went out to the Greer Dragway for Drew's car. He's been on the channel before, really good friend of mine. So uh, I'll uh, show you a couple clips here. <laughs> fighting a little bit of suspension issues with his car but everything else was pretty dialed in um, he made a couple hits off of the just all motor and then he uh, ended up running a couple of nitrous hits uh, can't reveal his time obviously because he's in no time car as well uh, but today I'm gonna go over a little bit of why my car is running need to do a little bit with the dash and uh, tidy it up I got most of it done now I just need to go in there and get it all finished out and make it look nice and uh, put the dash back in. Finally got some wheels come in. Bear with me guys, it's uh, pollen season out here in South Carolina, so just if you can't hear me or understand, I'm sorry. But I got some new wheels in and uh, these are just for the rears. Don't have the fronts yet, but the front tires are coming in soon. So, uh, I guess that means I need to order some front rims. Uh, I'm gonna go with, uh, basically I just got some cheap rears to run on the drag strip. A whole new set of rims for some radios to run on the street since the uh, buy supplies you can't run. You shouldn't run all the time on the street. I mean, it's also maybe slightly illegal, but let's get these unboxing going on. So and if you made it this far in the video, uh, make sure you hit that subscribe button, like button, uh, leave me a comment, let me know what you think. Let me know what you think about Drew's car. And uh, we were just too busy last night to get a, to actually get a, a whole video on it. There was a lot of people around. But if you wanna follow his progress, uh, put his Instagram link here. Go check his Instagram out. He's also got a YouTube channel. Uh, he hadn't done a whole lot with it, but I'm calling you out now, Drew. Make some videos. Here's a little hint. This is what we got. We got the jigs, fifteen by tens. So I think they look pretty good. Whenever I get these mounted, I'll probably do a little video. I think I'm gonna do some, uh, today we're gonna clean these uh, wheels up. I know they're already new and clean, but we're gonna clean them up and we're gonna put some ceramic coat on them. So let's see if we can get these wheels on here and see how the clearance is gonna be. It's all up to this guy, right? It's all up to this guy right here and see if he's a clearance enough. That's gonna look good. Oh yeah. I got the dash back in right now. It's not all done, but I'm gonna take it back out, finish all that wire, make it look clean, and then uh, we'll put it back in and get ready to start it up. Here. Just read these handy dandy directions on this uh, wheel ceramic coat. We got the C5 wheel armor. Um, heard this really great. Uh, buddy of mine picked it up for me. So got some iron remover and Per the directions, it says clean them up, which they're already pretty clean in the factory. So we're just gonna clean them up with some iron remover, like it says, and uh, microfiber, and then we'll start applying this uh, this ceramic coat. I got it pretty clean. Step one, already done. All right. We cleaned the wheel. We wiped it down with a panel wipe. We uh, used the general fallout remover and iron remover. And now let's apply this stuff. Stuff comes in, supposed to shake it all up. Really concentrated stuff. Probably really potent stuff, so. Supposed to do, wipe it on and buff it off. I got these that came with it. I got some extras, wheel applicators. So. That iron river really stinks. Disclaimer, I'm not a professional ceramic coat applicator. This is my first application.
ceramic coat is, it puts a thin layer around and protects it and kind of just lets water run right off of it. That's uh, simple terms. So uh, some people charge a lot of money for this and I kind of want to just try it on my own before I go pay somebody else to do it. So let's apply the other half of the wheel. applicator pads even just wipe, using a clean one to wipe it off it's I can still see it making streak marks sorry I had to take a sneeze break <laughs> Kind of what I was going to show you guys is a uh, shout out to Elmar for all your Mustang needs. I'm just kidding, this is not a sponsor video because they don't sponsor slow cars. So I picked up the Team Z and a roll bar. So we're going to weld that in next weekend, hopefully. So I'm going to work on getting this wiring done and uh, I'm sure you'll get to see the car when it's running later. But uh, thanks for tuning in and uh, as always, hit the subscribe button, like button. I appreciate it. We'll see you in the next one. Cooper! What are you doing? Just doing a hot lap in the yard.